The title of my project is Earliest Evidence of Mercury Sequestration in Sulfide Minerals Driven by Late Archean Vulcanism. I looked at the mercury content in marine sediments from the Late Archean, which was about 2.8 to 2.5 billion years ago. There is little to no free oxygen during the Late Archean, however, there is geochemical evidence for increases in oceanic oxygen. We believe the driver of this is subaerial volcanism and pyrite burial, which allowed for local oxidation of the water column and the removal of highly toxic elements like mercury from the oceans. We focused on the mercury data of two cores from the Roy Hill Shale of the Gerina Formation in Western Australia. Figure 1 shows the study site from where the two cores were drilled, AIDP2 and AIDP3. Figure 4a shows how a eugenic wedge is developed from sulfate reduction, resulting in hydrogen sulfide being produced, creating eugenic conditions in a vastly ferruginous Archean Ocean. Ripon Hills is AIDP2 and Tunkawana Creek is AIDP3. Figure 4b shows how pyrite is formed in an anoxic and sulfitic water column and undergoes major burial. Mercury's affinity with pyrite results in a new sink for mercury and its sequestration with sulfitic minerals. Figure 2 shows the lithology for AIDP2 and AIDP3. Left of the dotted line indicates left of the dotted yellow line indicates oxic conditions and right of the line indicates anoxic conditions. Left of the dotted green line indicates ferruginous conditions and right of the line indicates eugenic conditions. In AIDP2, large HG and HDTOC enrichments occur under eugenic conditions, and in AIDP3, HG and HDTOC are invariant during the temporally correlated correlative interval in AIDP2, which is shown in the dark purple bars. The largest mercury enrichments in AIDP3 occur in the upper half of the core, which is shown in the light purple bars, indicating eugenia. Figure 3 shows the geochemical relationships for AIDP2 and AIDP3 with molybdenum, TOC, and pyrite. In AIDP2, mercury is strongly correlated to molybdenum and moderately correlated, correlated with pyrite and TOC. In AIDP3, mercury is strongly correlated with TOC in the lower core, but correlated to pyrite concentrations in the upper core. So, when mercury is increasing in the eugenic interval in AIDP2 and there are no changes lower on the slope in the ferruginous region in AIDP3, this suggests that eugenic waters containing pyrite were pulling mercury out of the water column there, but in AIDP3, mercury was just being sequestered by organic matter. I believe that it is likely that the removal of mercury led to favorable environmental conditions that culminated in the evolution of advanced organisms such as eukaryotes. Thank you.